Hello guys, it is Briggs Sport here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another of my football match day vlogs for you guys to sit back and enjoy. So today we focus on Blackburn Rovers as we make the trip down to Derby County. So Rovers do look to go six games unbeaten this Sunday afternoon as we make the trip down to Pride Park to face Derby County. So currently taking a look at those league tables, Rovers sit in 10th position on 53 points. However, with yesterday's results going our way massively, uh, a win today will see us climb into the playoffs above Preston at North End on 56 points. Derby currently sit in 14th position on 48 points, so still very closely contested in that league table, very congested. Uh, Rovers' previous result was a 2-2 draw at home to Swansea City at Ewood Park. And uh, this year, it's been a very strong start to 2020 for us with only two league defeats. Uh, Derby's previous league result was a 3-1 away win at Sheffield Wednesday, a team that do seem to be struggling massively at the moment. But uh, Derby have only lost at home twice this season since August. Uh, so today is certainly going to be a tough task because that is a brilliant home record to have and it's definitely what you want. Uh, Derby County's key players to look out for uh, this Sunday afternoon include forward Martin Waggon. Top scorer for them with 12 goals and one assist. Very good player. The obvious star, Wayne Rooney, of course, who technically joined as a player in January. And then also Tom Lawrence with nine goals and three assists to his name. Uh, Dwayne Holmes as well, another talented player that has come all the way up from sort of League One Scunthorpe to get into Derby County's side. And he's done really well from what I've seen of him. Uh, today's trip will be my first to Pride Park. And it will mark off ground number 41 out of 92 for me. And I do believe this season alone I've been to 12, 13 new grounds. We've still a couple more to tick off, which is excellent. I love an away day, especially to a new ground. Uh, Rovers' main absentee to the squad today will be centre-half Dara Lenihan, serving the last of his two-game ban for accumulating 10 yellow cards this season. Uh, Ryan Yambi will therefore most likely slot into centre-half and we will see Bennett at right-back. My prediction finally for today's game, I'm going with a 2-2 draw. I think Rovers' goal is going to come from Adam Armstrong and Dominic Samuel. Right, goal angry. Derby County versus Blackburn on a Sunday. What am I going to say in this one? My score prediction is going to be a narrow 2-1 derby. It's only because of our home record is quite good in the league. So I'm hoping that we can get a narrow win over Blackburn. Blackburn are obviously doing quite well in the league right now. And they sit in a good position. Derby, we sit 14th. Derby's key players. Max Bird's been quality for us in recent times. Really, really solid. Louis Sibley against Manchester United was really good. So if he comes on or starts, I think he'll be on form. Obviously, Wayne Rooney's continued his fantastic form. At the end of the season, where both sides are going to finish, I think Blackburn could finish ninth. Derby, hopefully, I think we'll finish around 11th. Hopefully, Derby will win today. So, the away day is underway, and tell me this isn't the best way to start a Sunday morning with a lovely cherry tango ice blast en route. Love it.
So there we go then guys, that marks full time on the Blackham Rovers versus Derby County game and it does unfortunately end in a 3-0 Derby County win, so Rovers lost there. And I've got to say, out of all the away games and home games actually this season I've been to watch Rovers, that has got to be one of the most poor results that I have seen. Don't get me wrong, Derby County, a strong side and you do wonder why they are in that position in the league table, of course, their away form does let them down. The home form's excellent. You know, the crowd was excellent from the home fans who really wrapped up the atmosphere, which was good. And uh, they do have some very talented young players in that team of their, like Max Bird and uh, also the other player that scored for them. Uh, can't remember his name, but he was decent as well. But, uh, yeah, it, it is really unfortunate. And like I say, one of the worst uh, Rovers performances I've seen this season. But it isn't the end of the world at the same time, and I know there will be a lot of Rovers fans very frustrated by that result, including myself. But at the end of the day, we are still in a good position above mid-table, and we are still within touching reach uh, of the playoffs. Uh, do I think we are strong enough for playoffs? It's difficult to say. Personally, it's going to be a stretch, especially with the injuries we have to the team. The positives are that Daryl Lennon will be back for the next game at home to Bristol City. The negatives, of course, Buckley getting sent off. That's another midfielder out. But for me, it was a bit of a spineless performance by Rovers. We look missing up top. Perhaps Mowbray did put too many strikers up. Uh, on the pitch and we were overloaded in midfield and Derby County have some talented players as we know especially in the middle of the parks that was difficult for us opening 15 minutes though I didn't think they looked great they did look quite shaking they were sitting quite deep that was our chance to uh, sort of press on and get an early goal Tossing Adurabaya with a free header in the first minute that he couldn't convert. And then also we did have a couple of other chances. But apart from that, that was all that we really had. A couple of good crosses into the box, but there was no end product. And uh, I think Amari Bell had an alright effort that forced a save out of the keeper late on in the second half. But apart from that, not a great game at all. And uh, it is unfortunate, but Derby County, the deserved winners from it, you've got to say. They're now just a few points off us and only five, six points off the playoffs. So it shows just how tight it is this season again. But uh, I'm not going to talk for too long, guys, because obviously I am quite frustrated with the result. Uh, but that is where I'm going to leave the vlog, I think. And uh, let's hear the thoughts of Tony Mowbray to uh, end off the video. But uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you very soon for the next vlog. Well, Tony, what did you make of your team today? Well, I thought Derby were better than us today. You have to admit that. I thought they played particularly well for staff. Um, yeah, I think we missed some opportunities to score. Of course, for staff, we had some good chances and goals changed games. We didn't take the chances when they came and um, and paid, you know, a great goal for the first strike. Second, again, we were a bit empty middle of the um, edge of the box twice and paid for it, really. And... Um, but yeah, that's not, I give them credit. I thought they built from the back really well today. They've got some talented young players. But um, yeah, that was it really. We're disappointed, I think. It's, it, we came here with an ambition to get in the top six today and um, believe that we would and could. Uh, but Derby played well. Once they got their noses in front, what did you make of your team's reaction to that? Oh, I don't know. You've obviously got an opinion. I'm not sure what that, what that opinion is. Um, I thought we... As we do, as this team does, we just we kept going. I think goals changed games. I've just said to you there, we had some opportunities to score goals and didn't take them today. But um, if anything, I'm not sure the balance was right. You know, to come away to Derby, we've got such a strong home record with believing we could um, hurt them. Really, I think with the with the striking options we've got, and we probably um, you know I probably put had too many attacking minded players on the pitch ultimately against their good controlled build up.